All right, everyone. Today, I wanted to go over what is easily one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make with honing, and it has to do with these additional materials. Now, these materials here are going to be what a lot of people call your juicing materials. These for tier three, solar graces, solar blessings, and solar protections. And it's very important to understand these properly so that you use these when they end up saving you the most resources and gold. And on the other side of the scale, you don't end up wasting them where it's not really going to be worth it because these are quite valuable. And if you actually take a look at these solar materials on the market, they end up selling for quite a bit. So whether you guys are getting them from playing the game, whether you get some of these from the Mari shop, you want to put them to the best possible use that you can. And that's what I wanted to do today is I wanted to go through three examples here of uh, different types of honing situations where you're going to either want to use them or not use them. And I want to go over, first of all, a armor that is mid tier three, which is going to be these great honor leap stones here. Then I wanted to go over a low tier three weapon, which is going to be a weapon that actually um, the one before 1370. So the one that doesn't use great honor leap stones, the one that just uses regular honor leap stones. And I also wanted to go over a mid tier three weapon, which is going to be like this one right here, the one that uses great honor leap stones. And you'll be very surprised here to kind of see which of these circumstances here are going to be worth using the materials versus which ones are not. And I'll give you guys just a little TLDR here at the start, but obviously you're going to want to know the explanation um, you know, going forward in the future. But the ones that are worth using these materials on are going to be the mid tier three armors, which are going to be the ones that use great honor leap stones, like these right here. And of course, very importantly, the mid tier three weapons, which are like this one, going to be the ones that use great honor leap stones. And surprisingly, even the low tier weapons, the ones that use regular honor leap stones, are not really worth using juicing materials on anymore. And you'll see when I kind of go through the cost analysis breakdown why that is the case. So let's get more into it here. And just kind of a little summary here of a, a really easy way to understand these juicing materials here is when you end up fully juicing out, like you use the maximum amount of solar graces, solar blessings, and solar protections, it's going to double your base uh, honing success rate. So if you have a honing success rate of say 30%, if I end up using 12 of uh, the solar graces, six blessings and two protections, it's going to double it from 30% to 60%. So that's really nice because this makes it really easy for us to understand and ask ourselves the question, um, you know, of when to actually use these. And the question that you want to ask yourself is what's actually going to be cheaper? Is it going to be cheaper in order to end up buying a full set of juicing materials or is it going to be cheaper in order to just buy a whole set of materials to do another attempt at honing? Because you go from 30% to 60%, basically using juicing materials is like saving an entire attempt worth of, of these materials. And also using juice materials is going to give you increased artisan's energy as well. So you get that benefit too. So you kind of have to do a breakdown of what is the cost and value of the materials versus what is the cost and value of the uh, materials that you need in order to actually hone. So let's go to the examples here and let's talk about the first one, which is the mid tier three armor, the one that actually uses great honor leap stones. Now, if we take a look at the cost analysis breakdown of 12 solar graces, six solar blessings and two solar protections, it's also important to know that um, a lot of these here, like the solar graces and the solar protections, you can end up using the market cost here because on the Mari shop, they're not really that much cheaper than they are on the market. But for the solar blessing, I actually highly advise you guys, instead of looking at the market cost, they're actually going to be quite a bit cheaper in the Mari shop here. So instead of about 100 to 110 gold each, if you end up using blue crystals, if you just buy the blue crystals uh, from the exchange and then use those to buy these in the Mari shop, they're going to be you know, closer to half of this price, like around 60 or so gold per solar blessing. So if we were to end up uh, taking the value of 12 solar graces, that's about 360 gold. Six of these solar blessings here, yes, they're 600 gold off the market, but if you end up getting these on the Mari shop, it'll only cost you about 400 gold. And then two of these solar protections for 200 gold each, that's 400 gold plus 360 gold plus 400 gold. We're looking at about 1150 or so gold in order to get a full set of juice materials. And even if you're using bound materials here, it's very important to just look at the value of this stuff. Like what are these materials worth here? It's worth about 1150 gold for all this stuff right here. Now, if we want to compare that, what is going to be the cost 
of buying another set of guardian stones and what's the cost of uh, you know 10 of these great honor leap stones the fusion materials and very importantly don't forget the actual gold cost with the fusion as well you're going to save out on that now we have to compare that the value of all those juicing materials versus the value of all these materials here because we're doubling our success chance we're basically saving a full set of materials here and if you do that you're looking at about for 500 of these tier three guardian stones these are about seven gold right now in my server per bundle of 10 so it's about 350 gold worth of those the great honor leap stones are about 120 or so gold each right now that's about what they're worth and again even if you're using bound great honor leap stones you still want to kind of keep that number in mind that's about what they're worth so 120 gold each times 10 that's about 1200 gold worth of great honor leap stones the fusion materials is like 70 to 80 gold and 170 gold and when we add that all up uh, we are looking at about 1800 gold is the value of all of these materials here in order to do one attempt at honing so basically we're looking at if we were to do two attempts here without any of these juicing materials we would have to end up spending 1800 gold for the first attempt at 1800 gold for the second attempt each one of course is going to give us a 30 percent chance now if we were to end up buying all of the juicing materials for the second attempt you would spend 1800 gold for the materials for the first attempt and then about 1150 to 1200 gold for the juicing materials to give us a double chance which goes up to 60 percent so we actually end up saving quite a bit by using juicing materials and uh, for these mid armors here the ones that use great on our leap stones it absolutely is going to be worth using these materials here so uh, now let's go to the next example here which is going to be the weapon but the low weapon now i'll sh also show you guys a really good website here that gives you a little bit more information about this you can see that like for tier three you've got the low weapons and armors which are going to be the ones that use your regular honor leap stones and then you've got the mid armors and weapons which are going to be the ones that end up using your great honor leap stones now this is actually a mistake that i personally made i ended up using juicing materials for the weapon thinking that it was still going to be worth it for the ones that just use regular honor leap stones but it turns out that it's not really the case and if you actually add up if we do the exact same example here like the a low tier three weapon going from plus nine to plus ten and we add up the uh, materials here 258 of these destruction stones is about uh, 500 or so gold yes the destruction stones are expensive but you know 500 gold for those then we look at the leap stones now regular honor leap stones are not worth nearly as much as great honor leap stones so we save out a lot on that uh, eight of these is about 320 330 or so gold then we look at the fusion materials these are like you know 40 to 50 gold and the cost of the gold to just hone as well as 120 gold so we add that all up and the total material cost for one attempt at honing a low tier 3 weapon from plus 9 to plus 10 at a 30 percent success rate it's about a thousand gold worth of materials now it's going to use the same amount of the juicing materials um, as the mid tier uh, so the same amount as like this weapon right here it would use 12 of these solar graces six solar blessings and two solar protections and we already kind of got the number for what that's all worth right there and it's about 1150 gold just like we used in the last example so in the case of the low tier three weapon the one that just uses regular honor leap stones uh, we're actually spending about 1150 gold worth of juicing materials to only end up saving about a thousand gold worth of materials so it's close don't get me wrong and it's still probably fine if you have a bunch of extra of these you know it's close enough to the point where it's not a disaster if you do it but you know it's better to end up saving juicing materials for when you end up getting to your mid tier three armors which are going to use great on our leap stones because we get a lot more value there and now let's go over the last one and this is going to be a slam dunk and i kind of want to um, lead off this point for your mid tier three uh, weapon which is going to be the weapons that use great on our leap stones absolutely always always use the additional materials always juice up the weapon it would be a big mistake not to because as i go through the numbers here you guys will see how much gold in materials using these materials is going to save you on these weapons here so same thing it's going to use 12 of these graces six of the blessings and two of the protections which we already calculated is worth you know 1150 to 1200 gold and now if we take a look at the cost of all the materials that it would take just to do one single attempt on a mid tier three weapon uh from plus nine to plus ten the one with great honor leap stones 830 of these uh destruction stones uh is going to be you know 15 1600 gold plus 16 of these great honor leap stones is going to be close to 2000 gold plus the fusion materials is going to be 70 to 80 gold or so 
and also the actual cost of the honing as well is 320 gold. You are actually looking at close to 4,000 gold worth of materials just to do one singular attempt from plus nine to plus 10. So that's a lot of materials and that's a lot that you save out on. So basically using the 1150 to 1200 gold worth of these juicing materials is gonna save you virtually almost 4,000 gold worth of all the other materials that you need in order to hone a weapon. So it absolutely, at the very least, if there's one big thing to take away from this video, if you guys are low on these materials, or maybe they're really expensive on your server, or you bought them all out in the Mari shop and you can't really seem to get a hold of more of these, make sure that you end up using these on the uh, weapons that use great honor leap stones because you get insane, insane value and it would be a big mistake not to. So with that being said, I threw a insane amount of info at you guys in this video. And this video definitely took a bit longer to prepare, a bit of research involved in this one. I have a lot of notes for this. Maybe I'll put them in the description. Maybe I'll make them public. But there was a lot of digging and uh, research that went into this video because it's a very important topic and a big mistake that I see a lot of people make. So I'm really hoping that you guys got some good info out of this. I hope that it was informative and helpful, of course. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you want more videos like this in the future, consider leaving a quick like. Consider subscribing to the channel with notifications on if you want alerts for videos like this, of course. And feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv salt, where I will be streaming Lost Ark as well as other games in the future. Thanks again, everyone. Take care. Have a good one. And until next time.